Welcome to another edition of Congregation Agudat Shalom's This Week in Jewish History. Today I'd like to spend a few moments looking at the life of one of the United Kingdom's chief rabbis and prominent 19th century figure, Rabbi Nathan Marcus Adler. As this week in 1845, Rabbi Adler was given permission to leave Germany for London to assume the position of chief rabbi of the United Kingdom. So who was Rabbi Nathan Marcus Adler? Nathan Marcus Adler was born in January 1803 in Hanover in north central Germany. His father served as chief rabbi of the city then, and despite geographically being in Germany, Hanover was actually under British control at the time. Adler received a traditional Jewish education, including rabbinic ordination from the famed Rabbi Abraham Bing of Würzburg. He also received a comprehensive secular education, studying at the universities of Würzburg, Heidelberg, and finally earning a doctorate from the University of Erlangen. In 1828, Adler was called back to Hanover to assume his father's position of chief rabbi of the city. And it was in this capacity that he corresponded with and developed a relationship with British philanthropist and communal leader Moses Montefiore, who you can see on the right side of your screens. In 1842, the next significant event of Adler's career took place with the passing of then Chief Rabbi of the United Kingdom, Rabbi Solomon Herschel. The candidacy to replace Rabbi Herschel came down to three young German rabbis. Rabbi Hirsch Hirschfeld, aged 33, who unfortunately a picture of whom is not available. Rabbi Nathan Marcus Adler, aged 41, in an early picture on your left. And a young Rabbi Samson Raphael Hirsch, aged 36, pictured on your right. Eventually the voters settled on Rabbi Adler, and he was officially installed as chief rabbi in July of 1845. Aside from his regular pastoral and ritual duties as chief rabbi, Rabbi Adler was instrumental, was instrumental in establishing two prominent institutions of British Jewry. One, Jews College for the training of rabbis, which now goes by the name of the London School of Jewish Studies, and also the United Synagogue, the umbrella group of traditional synagogues under the stewardship of the chief rabbi. Rabbi Adler passed away in 1890 after serving British Jewry for 45 years and is buried in a Jewish cemetery in London. He was succeeded by his son, Rabbi Herman Adler, who you see on your left, who continued his father's teachings and building for all Jews of the British Commonwealth. Thank you for listening and have a great day.